Old Alabama Gardener, and this video is about my experiment in sprouting English peas. Now, what this video is about is trying to grow peas to a transplant stage like this right here. And we, of course, we would do this in the house under grow lights, put some bottom heat on it to help them. And so this was an experiment to see how many days it takes to get these to this stage. Now, once I get ready to grow the peas that I will grow out in the garden, I would grow them in soil blocks like this right here in a large tray with about 50 of these blocks in each tray. Probably grow four, maybe six trays uh, up to this stage here so I could transplant them out. Now the seed package for this particular type of peas shows on the back, it says days to germinate, 8 to 12 days. If I plant English peas directly in the ground in the early spring, they will usually rot instead of sprout and grow. So today is 5th of February, we'll put this tag in there when we get it ready. And that will help us to keep track of how many days. So that's two, four, over there, six. That's ten. And I've got water down, down below here, down there, so it'll percolate up and moisten everything. Okay, now today is the 7th of February, and we're actually beginning to get sprouts. Let me show you. See how the ground is raising up right there? And if you can see right there how, the, how that ground is raised up. So watch when I take it off. See, that English pea is beginning to sprout. Putting the plastic bag over it helps to conserve moisture. Okay, today is the 9th of February. Check my peas to see how they're doing here. Well, look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, today is the 12th of February. I started these peas on the 5th of February, so that's seven days. And the goal was to see how, much, how long it would take me to get them to a point where I would be ready to transplant them. So now what we'll do is we'll measure them to see how large they are. And I realize that I'm measuring the two largest ones. So there's that one. And it's a good maybe three and a half to three and three quarter inches tall. We'll measure this one. And it's the same, a good three quarter inches, almost four inches tall. So that would be very good size for me to be ready to transplant. That completes my experiment 